Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom, watering some of the containers today. And one of the questions I get asked is, when should I water the containers, Dave? And a couple of little tricks I want to show you. Trick number one, we've got this oleander in a pot here. So this is a pretty big container. So at the base of the oleander, we have tomatoes, we've got cucumber, we've even got some petunias, some other annuals. And in general, why I do this is twofold. One is, I like to add a couple of vegetables in weird little places so the tomatoes will actually fall over the edge of this. But the other thing is these act like little watering cues to me because when the vegetables and the annuals begin to droop, that tells me that the topsoil has dried out. So if I keep the topsoil fairly moist, I know that the oleander will have enough water. Sometimes I grow herbs in containers as well, like fennel. So here's a little bit of fennel, which we've grown in a container. And if you look at it, you can tell that it's beginning to droop. So a couple of indicators on when to water. One, the plant begins to droop a little bit. And you look at it and you say, well, drooping can be overwatering or underwatering. The soil is very dry, so we know this definitely needs a little bit of water. The other way I tell before things droop is I lift them and sort of get a mental note of how heavy everything is. So this pot has actually gotten lighter, and that indicates to me that the water has dried out, the pot's a little lighter, so we're just gonna give it a little drink. It's much better to let the herbs and the leafy greens get a little bit on the dry side before you water them, rather than keep them wet. By letting them dry out a little bit, you create a much stronger root system in between waterings. So what I've tried to do today is to give you some indicators on when to water. So again, here's a little area of herbs. We've got some dill and some parsley. Notice that they're beginning to droop. The pots are fairly light, and so we're going to water them, and that's really going to help us. So we're going to water them now, and what that has done is it let the plant dry out. The root system's gotten very strong, and the plant's continued. One indicator to me of how happy this plant is is I planted this parsley on October 2nd last year. So here it is, early June. This has lasted all that time by this watering method, letting it dry out, then give it some water, letting it dry out again. I hope this has been a helpful video for you. And speaking of you, you can email me at dave at growingwisdom.com. And please send me your suggestions on videos you might like to see here at Growing Wisdom.